guys, DT Rockstar One here. What I have in my hand right now is the two, uh, program for the 2009 Eyes on De Design Car Show. It's a very prestigious show that happens every year on Father's Day at the Edsel Ford Estate. And 2009, that was the year that I really started getting into the car community. That, uh, that was the first year that I went to Eyes on Design and there was a whole row of just about every year of the Corvette. Now, I'm not a huge Corvette fan. I mean, there's just, they're too common around here to get excited about. But in this program, I saw pictures of uh, cars called the Corvette Mako Shark and the Corvette Manta Ray, as well as the Gullwinged Aerovet. And when I first saw those, I just thought, okay, it, I, I was just astounded by the way they looked. So I said, I got to find out if these cars still exist. And if they do, are they in a museum somewhere? Because I have to see them. I And so I looked online and it turns out they were at a place called the GM Heritage Center, which is not far away from, from where I am. And it turns out you can't just walk in there. It's not, it's not a museum that you can just walk in. You have to make an appointment. You have to get like 20 or 30 people to go in there. But after doing some networking, I found enough people, finally got in there and saw those cars. And here we are nine years later and I'm seeing the Mako Shark and the Manta Ray parked next to each other at Eyes on Design. And that, I, that was just a dream come true right there. And I've also been able to see the Aerovet, which is a mid-engine car. It was one of GM's experimental mid-engine Corvettes, and it had double-hinged gullwing doors. It was, it was just a really radical car. The Mako Shark and the Manta Ray were some of Bill Mitchell's toys. Uh, B Bill Mitchell was the head of design at GM at the time, and so he daily drove those cars. So they were his personal cars. And he, Bill Mitchell was very fascinated by sharks. He actually caught a Mako Shark and had it hanging in his wall in his office. And so he wanted to have the car to be painted uh, just like the shark that he had on his wall. Well, he the the painters they they tried like three times and. Every time they tried painting the car, Bill Mitchell was not happy with it. So one day, they went into his office, they took the shark off the wall, and they painted the shark to look like the car. Bill Mitchell came out back and he was happy with it. Whether the story is true or not, nobody really knows. But either way, it's a great story. <laughs> And speaking of fascination with sharks, you could see a lot of it in the design of this car. If you look at the windshield, that's the dorsal fin of the shark. Uh, if you look at the headers that lead to the side pipes, those are the side fins. The grill is obviously the mouth, and the lights on the side are the gills. So, you know, ver very stylish elements that came from sharks. These cars both had flip-up mirrors which reflected the brake lights. Pretty cool feature that you don't even see today.
and this was a time period when cars were about style. If you look at the fabulous fins from the 50s, I mean, that was style. Like the Cadillacs and the Lincolns that had, had the big fins on them. And then they moved on to the form follows function formula. Nowadays, I think cars are way too functional. There's, there's just, there's no, it's all function and no style at all. They're just, they're boring designs. Um, and this is what I don't understand is why do people have such a problem with style for the sake of style? Like what's wrong with that? What's wrong with having, you know, some stylish element on a car that serves no functional purpose? Like what, why is that a bad thing? That's, that's what I don't understand. I think cars are starting to, to look too alike. They're starting to look bland and they just don't have the heart and soul that cars had back in these days. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. So definitely please leave a comment down below and let, let's hear your opinion on this. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help me bring more content like this to you guys. I want to thank everybody from General Motors for helping me get all this footage. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.